Did you practice with the homework? Did you finish your homework? ¿Vieron la tarea que estaba en el, en el, en el portal? Yes. ¿No? Yes. Yes. No, teacher. No, ah, sí, porta. No, teacher. Ok. Mm. And what about tarea número uno and tarea número dos? How was the tarea? Teacher. Yes. Ah, teacher. Las tareas diarias, sí. O sea, lo que tenemos que trabajar, el U, eh, sí, la, sí, sí, sí las trabajé, digamos, pero... Pero de más, ¿no? No sé qué más <ríe> podría... Lo, lo que usted nos enseñó ayer, no sé si hay algo otra cosa que se me haya pasado, pero sí las hice la de lunes, martes. Remember, that we're going to have there. Let me see. Okay. But let's first, let's go ahead and do something. Uh, we're going to start here with today's class. Hello. I did my homework, but I don't know if it saved the computer because I did week one, week second, week third, I think so. But when I see, when I check, everything is clear. Really? Okay, I want to check that later. Y lo, le voy a avisar okay. que si se guardó o no, ¿ok? Ah, pa, por favor. Ya, ahorita mismo lo vamos a revisar. So, we have, we're going to... Good evening. Good evening, how are you? Fine, thank God. Fine, ok. Very good. Good so we're evening. Good evening, everyone. So, we're going to start with today's class. We have a lot hello, of things to do. Hello, hello. Hello. How many people we have? We have 10 people. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi. Hello. What's up? Diferentes formas de decir hola. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's Hi. up? What's up? What's up? Good evening. What's up is very informal, but it's a way that you say, ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Right? How are you? How are you? Yes. What's up? Okay. So let's just start with today's class here. Let me show you my computer. Just give me one second. Do you practice with the homework? Do you finish your homework? ¿Vieron la tarea que estaba en el, en el, en el portal? Yes. ¿No? Yes. Yes. No, teacher. No, ah, sí, portal. No, teacher. Ok. Mm -hmm. And what about tarea número uno y tarea número dos? How was the tarea? Teacher. Yes. Ah, teacher. Las tareas diarias, sí. O sea, lo que se, tenemos que trabajar, el U, eh, sí, la, sí, sí, sí las trabajé, digamos, pero... Lo demás, ¿no? No sé qué <ríe> más podría... Lo, lo que usted nos enseñó ayer, no sé si hay algo, otra cosa que se me haya pasado, pero sí las hice, la del lunes, martes. Remember, they were going to have there. Let me see. Okay. But let's first, let's go ahead and do something. Uh, we're going to start here with today's class. Hello. I did my homework, but I don't know if it saved the computer because I did week one, week second, week third, I think so. But when I see, when I check, everything is clear. <laughs> really? Okay, I want to uh, check okay. that later. Y lo, le voy a avisar okay. que si se guardó o no, ¿ok? Ah, pa, por favor. Ya, ahorita mismo lo vamos a revisar. So, we have, we're going to start today with the video conference número 3. How to use many and how much. How to use how many and how much. That's what we're going to try to do. Right? And also, we're going to see some time phrases for regular activities. Right? First. But, uh, remember, in the, in the platform... Can you see the platform here? Yes. Okay. 
in the platform, we didn't have any discussions for the first class, but for the second class, I put here one question. It says, what do you do every day in your workplace? Write three activities you do every day in your workplace. I only have one answer from Emerson. So thank you so much, Emerson, for your answer. He says, check my email, process production data, and produce production report, right? So remember to always check this, right? A los que no lo contestaron hoy, ya mañana van a hacer el de hoy, el de mañana, el de pasado, y así. Se le va a acumular, right? Ese sí, ya está, teacher. Pensé que era otra cosa. Okay, no, it's ya there. Está. Ya está. Yes. But I don't ah, see your no. answer. I only no. see Emerson's. Your answer is not here. That is the, the general to... platform. That's in the general platform. Recuerden que ayer les dije que abajo del video que tenemos, este es el video de la clase de ayer, ¿correcto? Yes, okay. En el video de la clase de ayer, nosotros ven, venimos aquí al video, right? Y en el video acá, vamos a eh, ver el video si tenemos necesidad de verlo. Y abajo hay una parte donde dice discusión. Yo acá les voy a dejar preguntas relacionadas con la clase. What do you do every day in your workplace? Esta pregunta ya la conocemos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, acá Emerson me contesta, check my email, process production data, produce production report. Acá voy a tener la respuesta de Carmen, de Abidraíl, de Ana Gabriela, la de todos. Right? Vale, Besides, punto es. Bien, todo. Todo, participation, everything. Uy, Tareas, todo. Este Va. es como ir a la U. <laughs> ah. Okay. Now, remember that two hours is not enough. Ahí siempre tiene yeah. que estar recordándose. Dos horitas, mm -hmm. no, no es nada. Okay. Now, let's continue. We have video conference number three. Right, we're going to continue with yesterday. We were practicing with simple present. Right. This is what we did yesterday. Tell me, what are the subject pronouns for simple present, uh, Ana Gabriela? What are mm -hmm. the subject pronouns? Tell me, tell me. I am interested in knowing what are the, uh, what are the subject pronouns? Um, I, you, mm -hmm. they, I, you, right we, Uh, are you he she it they and they okay very good very good Ana Gabriela excellent job let me ask you this um Celia what are the auxiliaries that we use in simple present to make questions What are the auxiliaries? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes. What are the auxiliaries that we use in simple present? Mira la tabla, ahí está todo. Mira la tabla que está viendo ahí, está todas las respuestas que le voy a preguntar ahora. Solo necesito yeah. que recordemos lo que hicimos ayer. Does, do. Excellent, you see? Very good. No necesita me ayuda, ya ve. Very good. We have does and do are the auxiliaries that we use in simple present. When are we going to use does and do? Emerson, Javier? When are we going to use does and do? El does es para... A ver. ¿Cómo era? No sé. ¿Cómo era? Como para hacer referencia a mí mismo. Y el do es para como un grupo de personas. Kind of. Kind of. Ahí vamos, ahí vamos. ¿Ok? When, are, when am I going to use does and do? Daniela Milka. 
your microphone. Uh -huh. I, I... ¿Dónde utilizo el das y el tú? ¿En qué momento cuando, de la vida? Cuando, cuando me estoy refiriendo a otra persona. Mm, no. That is incorrect. El das es para la tercera persona. ¿Quieres manejar concepción? Das is for? First persons. That is for third person singular. Very good. Das is for third person singular. Asalia. What is third person singular? ¿Cuáles son los que utilizamos para third person singular? I, you, he, she. For third person singular? Can I use I? Like, das I? No. No. No, exactly. We're going to is use that just for he, is he, she, it. He, she, uh -huh, and he. She, he, he. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. very he. good. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Aquí somos una comunidad de aprendizaje entre todos. Okay, very good. Das is for he and she. Very good. And do, we're going to use we, you, they, Solo dos, entonces. I. Exactly. No, we can use das, he, she, Tres. And eat. Eat. Okay. okay. Es que me confundí. Dije. Don't ah. worry. Don't worry. Si no no estuviéramos en clase, si no supiera, si supiera todo, no estuviera aquí conmigo. No se preocupe. Right? Okay. Don't worry. We can make this. Day, no aplica ahí, teacher. What? Day. No es, no es singular. No. Day is plural. ¿Qué day es plural? Is plural. So with day we use do. Do. We use do with they. Now, okay. besides using third person singular, when when am I going to use do and does? At what time? What do we do here? For questions. For questions. Wonderful. Very good. For questions. And for? For questions. And answers. For answers. And for? Questions, Negative. answers, and? Negative. Negative. Negatives. Very good. Negatives. Excellent. Alguien dijo negatives allá suavecito. Negatives. Very good. For questions, for answers, and for negatives. Remember, the answers, they should be short answers. Short. Not long answers. Short. Now, with this in mind, right, we were supposed to answer this. Number 11, number 11. Did you finish this part? Did you finish this exercise? Terminaron este ejercicio? Did you finish this exercise? No teacher. No? Not okay. Teacher. I am Not going teacher. to give you, I am going to give you one minute to finish this exercise, right? And para mientras usted lo termina, yo les tomo asistencia. Ayer ya había, ya, perdón, ayer le tomaron un screenshot, ¿correcto? Sí, teacher. Ok, very good. Very good. So, lo voy a quitar un momento para pasarles asistencia. Mientras ustedes trabajan, yo tomo asistencia. ¿Sí? Hay que estar aquí en mm. videos. Please turn on your cameras, María Concepción y Roxana Mejía. Ok. Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Present. ¿Yo? Ángela eh, de Jesús Santa María. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Azalia Melanie. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carmen Lizette Hernández Escobar. Present. 
Thank you very much. Celia has Mincas for the Chaves. Present. Daniela Mirkel Sandoval Aviles. Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Glenda Esmeralda Trigueros Vázquez. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Present. Thank you. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Leida Susana. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. María Concepción. Present. Thank you. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Eh, Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. Roxana Yanira Mejíbar Escobar. Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher. And Jennifer Avidaí López Scott. Present teacher. Very good. Did you finish with the exercise? <laughs> no teacher. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> Mr. Palma, copy the exercise. Please take a screenshot and give the answers we're using simple present right now for this exercise. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Tell me when you finish, please. Tell me when you finish. I finish. Very good. And if you have questions, please don't forget that we can use the chat for questions. El chat también lo podemos utilizar para preguntas, no se preocupen. Okay, can I check right now the answers with you? Let's check the answers. Let's see number one, let's make this bigger. So we have more space. Let's go with number one here. It says, my family. What's the best answer here? Uh, Carmen. My family plan a trip to the United Kingdom every year. Okay, very good. My family plan. Let me see. Sorry. My family plans a trip to the UK every year. Very good. Plans con este teacher. Yes, because it says my family, right? It's singular. Plans. 
My family is a group of people. Is a group of people, so it's singular. My family plans a trip to the UK every year. Number 12, Maria Concepcion. Mr. Harris is the one who is solid. Carries. Carries, very well. Entonces, can you hear boxes of this? Okay. 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 okay, let me put mute because I am listening to someone else. Now, Mr. Harris is the one who usually carries the heavy boxes to the attic. Okay, very good. What do you have there, uh, Ricardo? Number 13. Ricardo Alexis. Eh, yes. El otro Ricardo no ha venido aún. Ok, teacher, ok, ok, ok. Eh, la tri. Um, 13, uh-huh. Uh, um, I normally, normally, tal kids, too young and the phone, on the phone. Okay. Phone. On the phone, okay. Phone. How do you spell the verb? Es, ¿Cómo escribe el verbo? Deletrémelo. Spell that for me, please. How do you spell uh, your answer? En inglés me confundo con, con, el, con el abecedario. Sería T-A-L-E-K-S, me parece. Okay. Remember that I is not third person singular. Right? We are going to use the rule of S with he, she, and it. Con el singular, si utilizamos en third person singular, la regla de la S, Pero cuando es I, you, we, they, ING no ING parece que es. Eh, no, no es ING porque estamos utilizando simple press. Ok. Simple press, no present progressive. Yes, yes. Ok. Ya me Very estoy adelantando. Good. Exactly. <laughs> so we have, I normally talk to John on the phone. Right. Please yeah. repeat with me, Ricardo. I normally talk to John on the phone. I normally talk uh, to John on the phone. On the phone. On Very the good. Phone. Now, oh, teacher, eh, la T y la O, ¿cómo se pronuncia? La T y la O. Sí. Después de tol, 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 tu. Sé que la O pasa a ser U, por decirlo así. Sí, pero no siempre. Ah, no ok. Siempre. En este caso, Ajá. sí. Ok, repeat, repeat with me, Ricardo. I normally. Yes. I talk... normally. Okay, talk. I normally talk to John on the phone. I normally talk to John on the phone. Exactly, very good. To John on the phone. Very good. Thank you. Emerson, you're welcome. Emerson, number 14. Place. Okay. Uh, Karen and Sarah plays the guitar. Okay, Karen and Sarah plays. Like this. Emerson? Please. Please. Okay, let me ask you this, Emerson. Karen and Sarah, is that singular or plural? Mm, okay. Karen and Sarah, how many people are we talking about? Con eso me confundo, soy sincero. Ok, let's, let's do this Karen. together, Emerson. Let's do this together. Karen is one. Ok. Sarah is one. But then we put them together. Is that one or two? Two. Ok, very good. Now, Emerson. Karen and Sarah. Is that plural or singular? Um, 
¿Es plural o singular? ¿Es plural o singular, Emerson? Plural. Sí. Plural. Wait, wait, Emerson. Uh -huh. It's plural. Very good, Emerson. It's plural. Emerson, do we use the rule of S with plurals? Oh, no. It's okay. Play. Very good. That's the answer I want. Very good. Ya ve que se sabe. Very good, Emerson. Now, number 15. Let's see, Pedrina. The students. Sería the student. The clear chair. Homes ERC. Okay. Describe. Repeat. Describe. Describe. No. Repeat. Listen to me. Sí. This. Describe. This right. Okay. No es describe. Es this. Describe. This right. Describe. This right. Very good. The students describe their homes easily. Hey, home ex easily. 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 Very good, Pedrina. Very good. Now let's go with number 16. Number 16. Please help me out, Mr. Palma. Tom collects stamps. Very good. Tom collects stamps. Very well. Tom collects stamps. Tom collects stamps. Very good. Please put mute. No les queremos escuchar las conversaciones en casa. Okay. Now, Ana Gabriela. Tell me, Ana Gabriela, number 17, the young boy. Cry. Cry, only cry? The young boy, is that plural or singular? Singular. Singular, very good. Is that he or she? He. He. Very good. How, uh, how am I going to make the change in the verb? If it's singular. I need to make a change in the verb. Cries. Cries. Wonderful. Wonderful. The young boy cries for help. For help. The young boy cries for help. El pequeñito pedí, pedí. Pedia ayuda. The young boy cries for help. Celia has me, 18. Susan. Um, Susan Gorapes, the present. Okay. In this case, we only add the yes, okay? Wraps the present. Susan wraps the present. Wraps. For example, you have a present and then you put like something uh, like paper on it and then you give it to someone. Number 19, Luis Armando. Luis Armando. Luis Armando. Hola. Number 19. Katy admires her mother. Okay. Repeat with me. Admires. Admire. Admires her grandmother. Her grandmother. Her grandmother. 
Very good. Tati as Almaya Hernan Mora. Very good. Number 20, Azalia. Azalia? 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 Ahorita. I <laughs> no funciona. Babies like to clap their hands. Okay. Babies. 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 Like babies. Babies. Okay. Babies like to clap. Clap. This is clap. Okay. To clap their hands. Very good. These are the answers. Please check if you have the same. Verifiquen si tienen lo mismo. Check if you have the same. Copien las respuestas. Si no tienen yes. lo mismo, copien las respuestas correctas, por favor. Take a screenshot so you can copy the correct answers. It's very important yes. that you yes. have the answers. Estos son verbos que ustedes pueden utilizar luego para, para su vocabulario. Escríbanlos, por favor. Plans, carries, talk, play, describe, collects. Price, wraps, admires, and like. Okay. Questions about this? Teacher. Yes? Sí. Sí. En ese caso, yes. babies like, ¿por qué no lleva este? Because we're talking about babies, it's plural, not baby. A baby. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's plural. For example, when Porque I say baby. Ellos. Entonces uh -huh. sería como ellos. Como ellos. Babies es ellos. Bebés. Grupo? A los bebés. Yeah. Babies. Babies oh, like okay. to clap their hands. That's plural. Oh, por eso no lleva este. Exactly. Exactly. Ok. Porque no va con tercera persona. Exactly. Very good. Ahí aplica esa, esa regla. Yes. Yes. Así yes. como plans, me imagino. Exactly. Well, we have baby, right? The baby doesn't like to clap his hands, for example. Aquí si utilizamos la regla de la S porque solamente estamos hablando de un bebé. Okay. The baby doesn't like to clap. Okay. Yes, acá, donde, acá donde dice I normally talk to John on the phone. I normally, the thing is that with I, you don't use it. With mm, I, you don't, with I, you don't use third person singular. Third person oh. singular is only he, she, it. Mm -hmm. okay. He, she, it. Third she, person it. Okay. Third person singular is he, she, it. Okay. Now, do you copy the, the answers? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very well. Let me go ahead and continue here. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something for you right now. I need you to pay attention to me. Okay. Now, when we have... I'm gonna make two things. When you have, for example, here, do, right? You're going to use do with I, you, we, and they, okay? That's when you're going to use You're going to use uh, das here. You're going to use das with he, he she, she, and it. it. Okay, ahí es donde lo vamos a utilizar. Do and das. Okay, is that part clear? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Now, what happens here? 
When we have, for example, he, she, and it, right? <clears throat> these three, estos tres, these three, these are called third person singular. Third person singular. A eso le llamamos tercera persona del singular. Third person singular. Therefore, with this, we use the rule of X. Okay. He, she, it. ¿Cómo dice? ¿Cómo dice ahí? Rule of, rule of S. We have he, she, it. It's in third person singular. And then we use the rule of S only with the third person singular. Okay. I is singular, but we don't use the rule of S with I because I is not part of the third person singular. La regla. Okay. okay, very good. <laughs> now, okay. give me a moment. Okay, do we understand that part? ¿Se entiende esta parte? Teacher, no, no. Yes. Yes? No, Teacher. maybe. Yes? Eh, una, una, una question. Eh, yo la, la regla de la, de la S no mucho me la puedo, pero a lo que he logrado entender es que cuando vamos a ocupar eh, das, va, y he, she, it, siempre va a cambiar el verbo a S. Si no me equivoco. No, that is incorrect. That is incorrect. Okay, <clears throat> let me show you here. Now, uh, but first, do you understand this part? ¿Se entiende esta parte? Solamente para la tercera. No. Teacher. Teacher. La de, okay. la One at a time. First, Mr. Palma, and then Ricardo Gabriel. Mr. Palma. Vamos a ocupar siempre he, she, y it, en tercera persona. La regla se llama regla de la S, pero siempre hay cambios. Recordémonos que la, la vez anterior vimos los diferentes tipos de, de, de S que se, las reglan, que se le añaden al verbo. ¿Ok? O sea, la regla se llama regla de la S. Pero ya vimos, por ejemplo, que en el verbo cry cambia, cambia. a S. Right? Le quitamos, le quitamos esto y agregamos esto. Right? Es. Exactly. La regla se llama regla de la S. Rule of S. Right? But it's different. Uh, thank you, Mr. Palma. Gabriel? Gabriel, what was your question? No era usted el que estaba hablando, Gabriel. Ricardo Gabriel? Okay, now, do we understand this part? Yes, teacher. Yes. Eh, uh -huh. La regla de la S. La regla de la S, lo que quiere decir en... Sí, me escucha. Yes. ¿Se escuchaba, Ricardo? ¿Qué estaba hablando? Fisher. ¿Sí? En lo, en lo que contesté. Me preguntaba si la regla de la S corresponde, pero no entiendo muy bien porque es en he, she, en it. Eh, ah, solamente tiene modificación los verbos en estos pronombres. Es así. Exacto. Solamente con estos pronombres. Y esto es así. En la regla ya... Es, es grammar, es como la ortografía en español. Ya están las reglas, cómo se deben hacer o escribir las cosas. Entonces, en este caso, 
con he, she, it, es que tenemos the rule of S. He, she, and it. Equals third person singular. Okay? Only with them. Right. This third person singular, yo quiero que en los affirmative statements, y escuchen bien, in the affirmative statements, you are going to add the rule of S to the verb. Okay? Only in affirmative statements, right? Because in the negative statements, in the questions, you are going to use does. So when you use does, then, for example, if I have the young boy cries for help, okay? That is affirmative. That is affirmative, right? Then I need to make the sentence in negative. Roxana Menjiva, how can I make the sentence in negative? Let me see. The young boy cried for help. Affirmative. That's affirmative. I want a negative sentence. Ah. The, um, quiero ver, the young boy, ah, uh, the young boy doesn't cry for help. Okay. The young boy does not cry mm -hmm. for help. For help. Mm -hmm. Look at this, and I want you to pay attention to this, okay? I want you to pay attention to this. Here, I have the young boy cries for help. The young boy does not cry for help. Cuando yo estoy utilizando yo el auxiliar does, ya el verbo vuelve a su forma base, a su forma normal, y ya no le agregamos la regla de la S. Se la quitamos. ¿Por qué se la quitamos? Porque estamos utilizando el auxiliar. ¿Ok? Is that part clear? Puedo, <coughs> teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Puedo hacer esta oración sin el auxiliar dar. ¿No? ¿Cómo la puede hacer? La puede hacer no, en no, afirmativo. No, no. Ah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. En afirmativo, sí, sin el auxiliar. La puede okay. hacer en pregunta con el auxiliar. Ok. ¿No? Pero sin el auxiliar o solamente si es afirmativa. Ok, gracias. You're welcome. Podemos hacer... Yes. Eh, recapitulando a lo, que le, a lo que le dije la vez eh, anterior, de que eh, she, he, eh, iba a utilizar la S. Corrección, ya me recordé cómo es. Se va a utilizar S. Si no me equivoco, cuando el, el verbo termina en vocal o en Y, me parece, ¿verdad? Ahí se le va a agregar el, el S, la S. Y si termina en consonante o termina en la en Y, se le va a agregar IS. IS me parece, ¿verdad? A los demás, que sería you, we y they. ¿A los demás, que sería Kevin? Podría ser, digamos, en otros consonantes, donde está en el verbo, eh, cuando terminan en consonante. O no, en la ahí. lo último que dijo. Es ah, que no, que se, que se, ah, no, que you y we y they quedarían absueltos en pocas palabras. Solo se utilizaría eh, he, she, it, nada más. ¿Verdad? Exacto. Porque cuando, cuando los verbos terminan en vocal y en la Y. Esas son, esas son, esa es parte de las reglas, no es todas las reglas, Ricardo. Ah, ok, ok. Esa es parte para, de las reglas. Para irme acordando porque no me recuerdo mucho. Esa es parte de las reglas, correcto. Thank Muy you. bien. You're welcome. How can I make this um, sentence a question? Let's make it a question. Let's see here. 
How can I make this a question? What do I have to do to make this a question? Does, you have to use the auxiliary does. To Wonderful, join. Carmen. Uh -huh. Does, does what? The, the boy, young boy cry for help. Does for the help. young boy cry for help? Very good. Mm -hmm. Does the young boy Thank cry goodness. for help? No question mark. Right, that, that's going to be a question, right? And then we have the example for positive, affirmative, negative, and the question, right? We have the three examples. Look at this, we are using does. We don't use the rule of S in the verb. Siempre si estoy utilizando el auxiliar, el verbo se queda con su forma base. Ok? So, aquí lo uso solamente en afirmativas. Right? Very good. Now, do you have a question about this? Question? Nothing. No? Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it passed. Yes. Okay. Now, now let me go ahead and uh, continue here with the exercises that we're going to practice. I'm going to show you one picture that we practiced last time. Right here. Esta la vimos solo para recordatorio. Vamos a verla un momento. Right here. Vamos. Esta la voy a mostrar. Okay, I'm going to show you here the different rules, okay, that we can use. But I want you to pay attention to each of the verbs, okay? Now, esto es, uh, it's going to be like a lot of information, right? But I want you to take a look at it, okay? Look at the rule of S, right? It's telling us here, it's telling us here to add S or ES or IES in the present simple, solo en el presente simple, in the present simple, third person singular. With must first, simply add S. For example, she works in an office. However, you should add ES to the following kind of verse. This verse right here, the first ver verse in, in the computer, right? And look at this, it says, he, she, is. He watches TV. She teaches English. Los verbos terminados en CH o CH, les vamos a agregar yes. Si el verbo termina en SH, le agregamos yes. Si termina en doble S, le agregamos yes. Si termina en O, le agregamos eh, yes. Si termina en X, le agregamos yes. If the verse ends in a consonant plus Y, we change the I, the Y to I, and then we add yes. And if not, we just have a vowel, we just add yes. Right? Those are the examples, right? This is the rule. Esta es toda la regla de la S. Estos verbos solo son ejemplos de los verbos. I'm a verbo, Silvia. Yes. Oof, there are a lot of verbs that we can actually work with. So please take a screenshot of the rule of S so you can practice more. ¿Qué otro verbo sería en la primera parte con watch? Teach. ¿Cuál sería otro? 
catch. Catch. Very well, Elisette. Catches. Very good. She catches a ball in the stadium. Very good. Very good. What about with SH? Microphones. Put your microphones away. Wish. Wishes. Wish. Wishes. Wonderful, Rosanna. She wishes to have a lot of money every day. <laughs> Very good. She wishes. Double S. Misses. Sylvia misses going out every weekend. Misses. Let's think about verbs. ¿Se entiende esta regla de la S? Yes. Yes. Okay. ¿Y los demás? No, maybe. So yes, so Ricardo so says so yes. So, so, very good, Ricardo. Thank you. Okay. May I continue? Yes. 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 Very good. Let's go ahead and continue. We have here, it says, complete the paragraph with the words in the box. This is on page 12 on your book. Make sure to write them in the correct form. Now we're going to use this rule here. So we have the verbs. Mr. Palma, can you please read the verbs in the box? Oh, have, shed, check, uh, wipe. Wake up. Wake up, work, wake up, work, and go. And go. And go. So it means that you are going to use the verb go three times. Go, go, and go. Okay? El verbo go lo vamos a utilizar tres veces. Call, have, check, wake up, and work, and go. So let's go ahead and do this together. Let's do it together. We're going to have one minute. It's on your book. It's on page 12. Voy a dar un minuto para que lo hagamos. Yo creo que lo hacemos. Right? Un minuto. Let's do it. Teacher, what page? 12. Thank you. You're welcome. Tell me if you have questions. Questions? No questions? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means everything is clear or nothing is clear. Well, what happens with your cameras today? I see that everyone has their cameras off. What's going on? Put your cameras on. No me dejan sola aquí. Yo ahí entiendo de todo. Y ustedes con sus cámaras apagadas. ¿Qué les pasa? Uy. Remember, one of the rules is to have your cameras on. Ahorita solo hay una persona con problemas técnicos de internet. ¿De ahí los demás? Yo los acabo de tener, teacher. Me sacó el sistema por un momento. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Finish. Very good. Eh, 
teacher están la, haciendo algo, es que me sacó el... Estoy fuera, de, he estado, estuve fuera de línea y no sé si están haciendo algo, dio alguna indicación que me perdí. Oh, we are working on page 12. Estamos trabajando en la página 12, Angie. We are working okay. on this exercise. Angie, we are working on this exercise on page 12. We are using this verse to okay. take a paragraph. Voy a tomar un screenshot. Está en su libro. En la página 2. Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're Por eso welcome. Yo lo los teachers. Solo que no lo no, no tengo en paz. Yes. Ok. <laughs> Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia el tercer verbo que está en la parte uh, que está en, encerrada en rojo? Eh, que va W, A, K, E, U, P, Walk. Walk. Walks. ¿Te le trae lo de nuevo? Walks. Es W, A, K de kilo E U P oh. Wake up Wake up For example I like oh, I wake up at 6 a.m. Wake, mm -hmm. wake up Wake up 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 Emerson wakes up at 4:30 right Emerson 4:30 a.m. Very early. Did you finish? Finish. Yes, Ricardo mm. says yes. Mr. Palma says yes. Okay. Yes. Let's see. Let's see the answers. Let's see the answers of this exercise. Now. It says here, call, tap, check, wake up, work, and go. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the answers right here. From Monday to Friday, Dominic. Wake up. Oh, okay. Wake up. What is missing when I when I do this? What is missing here? Something is missing. Something is not correct. Wakes up. Wakes up. Thank you so much, Carmen. Dominic wakes up at 5 a.m. She, what's goes. next? She? She goes. She goes. Okay, goes. pronunciation? She goes. She goes. Repeat with me, Roxana. Goes. Roxana? Goes. No. Goes. Yeah, she goes. She goes to work, and when she gets there, She, Celia. Checks her email. She checks her email. Okay. She checks her email. Very good. And, and what else, Asalia? Call. What? Call. Call. Only, only like that? She She email and calls. Calls. Very good. She checks her email and calls all the clients in her daily list. Listen. Lisa and Claudia. Lisa and Claudia. Emerson. Lisa and Claudia. Thank you. 
Work. Very good. Excellent job. Work. Work. Lisa and Claudia work with Dominic. They... They have... They have... They go... Yes. They, they go to have... They... They go... Exactly. They go... Uh, they go to... Have, have lunch. Have yeah. lunch. Very good. They go to have lunch together. At 4 p.m., Dominic... Okay. Come back... <laughs> Goes. Come back to lunch. Goes. Dominic goes home. Right? Can be come back. Yes, it can be come back, but it's not in the options. Right now, we're using this verse only. Call, have, check, wake up, work, and go. Come back home. It is possible, but we don't have it right now. Puede, puede ser, es posible, es correcto. Pero no están las opciones que estamos trabajando. Now, we have this verse. Check your answers. Check that you have the correct answers. Okay. Now, I need you to read the paragraph for me. I need to listen to your pronunciation. Let's see here. Let's start with your pronunciation. Uh, let me see. Luis Armando. Okay, teacher. Please read from the paragraph. Monday. Okay. From Monday to Friday, Dominic wake up at 5 a.m. She goes to work and then when she gets there, she, she checks her mind and call all the clean. In her then Lisa and Claudia work with Dominic they go to a her long together at four PM. Dominic goes home. Very good. Just practice with me, Luis Armando. Wake okay. up. Wake Wakes up. up. Wake up. No, listen. Wakes up. Wake up. Esta tiene la, la S, tiene que pronunciar la S porque aquí está. Wakes up. Okay. Wake, wake up. Wakes up. Ok, very good. Aquí no la tiene, aquí decimos wake up. Wake up. I wake up, she wakes up. Ok, very good. Okay. Roxana, help me out with your pronunciation. Read the paragraph. Ok, teacher. From Monday to Friday, Dominic. Wait up at 5 a.m. She goes to work and when she gets there, she checks her email and calls all the clients. In her daily list, Lisa and Claudia work with Dominic. They go to have lunch together at 4 p.m. Dominic goes home. Very good. That's excellent. Great pronunciation. Sandra, help me out. Sandra? From Monday, from Monday to, fr to Friday, Dominic weighs up at, at 5 a.m. She goes to work and when she gets there, she checks her email and calls all the clients in her daily list. Lisa and Claudia works with Dominic. With they Dominic. go to how Dominic. They go to how lunch get together at 4 p.m. Dominic goes home. Dominic goes home. Very good, Sandra. Very good. Okay. Now we have this. Do you have a question about this paragraph? Questions about this? Sandra, está regresando. No, teacher. No? Okay. Now, let's go ahead and continue working. If you don't have questions, 
let's continue. Esperen, espérenme, que esta red es, me está poniendo nerviosa. Ok. <laughs> Now, let's continue here with this. We're going to see time expressions for regular activity. What are time expressions? Time expressions are those, those phrases that we say usually at the end of the sentence. For example, I wake up at 6 a.m. every day. I wake up at 6 a.m. daily. I go to the gym every day. Right? Uh, for example, I pay the electricity bill monthly. Right? These phrases that you can see here, right? Every day, week, month, and year daily, weekly, and monthly, they are going to help us to say with how, with, um, how frequently you do the activities. ¿Qué tan frecuentes son ustedes las actividades? Y son actividades regular activities. Estamos todavía en el simple present, right? We use these activities for daily activities, so it means routines or timetables. So, for example, I pay, I pay my rent monthly. Right? Pago la renta una vez al mes, right? I pay my rent monthly. I go to, I go to a restaurant on every week, every week, for example, right? So we have these time expressions. These are on the book. Also, we can have other time expressions. Let me delete this. Other time expressions that we can use, like every day, every month, every year, once a day, once a week, once a month, once a year, twice a day, Uh, twice a day, twice a week, twice a month, twice a year. Three times a day. Okay. Three times a week. Three times a month. Three times a year. In the morning. In the evening. In the afternoon. I take English classes in the evening, for example. Give me one more. Right? Or you can use also phrases like always. You can see there, always. You can also see here that we have phrases like usually, often, sometimes, and never. For example, I always have classes on Mondays. Right? I usually eat before my class. I never go to the gym. I never go to the gym. So these are phrases that we're going to use every time that we create sentences with the simple present. Para hablar de, o de actividades que hacemos de forma diaria o para hablar de actividades que hacemos también en eh, que ya están programadas. Son actividades que ya están programadas. So we use this type of phrases or this type of phrases right here. Do we understand these phrases right now? ¿Se entienden estas actividades, estas frases? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay, please take a screenshot of the activities. Take a screenshot of the activities, okay. of the phrases. La otra lámina, teacher, la anterior, que puso primero. That's, that's, that one is on your book, okay. on page 13. Esta está en la página 13. Gracias. Su libro. Mm -hmm. This one is not on your book. So this one you have to take a, 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 a page. Copy, copy this one. 
Okay. Now, may I continue? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Um, what is the difference? What is the difference between on Monday, on Thursday, or in Monday, in Thursday, as the last sentences in July, in August? We are going to use, we're going to use for months, we always use the preposition in, right? In July, in December, right? Four months. Exactly, four months, four months of the year, right? Or for dates, but for, for the days of the week, we use on Monday, on Thursday, on Sunday, right? That's a rule that we have in English. Right, so we're always going to use them like that. My birthday is in July. My birthday is in August. I have vacations in December. Right? Okay. So you use in only for months, for days, and for period of the day. In the morning, in the evening, in up. In, in the afternoon. The afternoon. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you. then you say at night. Okay. Okay. Very good question, Carmen. Thank you. Now let's continue. Out. Let's continue here. Do you have more questions, everyone? Alguna otra pregunta? We are clear for the moment. Okay. Thank you so much. We're clear for the moment. Very good. Uh, teacher, uh, what does this mean? What? Always. Always. For example, always. Yes. I always speak English with my husband. I always speak English with my husband. Siempre. Always is siempre. Always. I always speak English with my husband. I always drink water in the class. I always drink water in the class, for example. Always is siempre. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Pregunten, por favor. Si no entendemos estas frases, preguntemos. Porque las vamos a usar. O las queremos usar, entonces hay que preguntar. No se le entiende el corazón, no se le entiende. I think that's Angie, right? No. Yes, teacher. Usted estaba hablando, Angie, no. Escuché que alguien no, hablaba, teacher. pero no le entiendo. No. Sí, así escucho, pero no se entiende nada. No sé, alguien, algún compañero quiere expresarse. Maybe. Yo creo que Ricardo, ¿eh? Ah, ok. Ricardo, no le escuchamos. <risa> Ricardo, no le escuchamos. Ok, I'm gonna, I am going to show you something right now. I am Saludos going to Ricardo, show Ricardo, es... Ricardo Gabriel, sí, Ricardo sí. Gabriel. Cambiemos, cambiemos mejor por Alexis, mejor el mío. Ok, ok, Me ok. Ok. okay. <laughs> Now, I want to show you something. I want to show you here. Can you see here the adverse of frequency? On the computer? Yes. Ok. Es que sí, sigo teniendo problemas con el internet. Eh, permítame, chicos, vamos a escribir acá. Viva su pregunta. Chicos, ¿alguna vez tienen problemas con el internet o con algo? Usemos el chat. Por ejemplo, con Abigail tenemos problemas con el micrófono. Ella usa el chat para preguntar. ¿Ok? So, don't worry. You can use the chat. So, look at this. These are phrases that we can use now that someone was asking about always. Right? We can use, for example, adverse of frequency. Right, always means 100%, so every, every day, right? I always wake up at six o'clock. I usually come home after work. 
I normally swim after school. I often spend Christmas with friends. I sometimes play tennis on the weekend. I occasionally eat Vietnamese food. I seldom go to the library. I rarely listen to the music and I never listen to rock music, right? These are when we ask how often something takes place. All the sentences are in simple present. Todas estas oraciones están con el simple present. All of them. Now, I want you to tell me, look at this, 100, 900. Esta sería la frecuencia en que ustedes realizan una actividad. This is to show the frequency you do an activity. Okay? ¿Se entiende esta, esta imagen? Yes. Why you should have often? What was your question, Maria? Why how? Okay, no, how often estamos utilizando how often, Maria? Because how often significa que, que, que tan a menudo hace usted la actividad. How often eso significa? And yes. Una, yes? Okay. Yes, yes. Maria? Hola. Yes, what's your question, Maria? Esa era mi pregunta, o sea, ¿en qué momento se iba a usar el how often? Uh -huh. Pero me explicó usted ahí. Uh -huh. Yes, how often is to say uh, uh, cuán a menudo hace usted una actividad. Entonces, no, en realidad no vamos a utilizar ahorita how often, estamos utilizando los adverse of frequency. The adverse of frequency son parte de las eh, time phrases que están acá. Son parte de estas. De las time phrases. Time expressions for regular activity. Good question, Maria. Thank you. Someone else? ¿Se entienden estos adverbios de frecuencia? una pregunta I seldom go to the lava eh, seldom ¿qué significa? casi nunca casi nunca ok, thank you casi nunca I seldom go to the library I seldom listen to banda music okay. that's for me that's for me ok, very good Please take a screenshot of this of, of this uh, vocabulary. We're going to use this vocabulary. So please take a screenshot. Teacher, ¿y rarely? ¿Qué significa? Rarely y casi nunca. <laughs> casi nunca. Teacher. De raramente. Es poco probable que yo vaya ahí. Rarely, I rarely listen to the radio. I rarely watch TV. No, que usted no. Es una actividad que la va a hacer allá como una vez al año. Y si es posiblemente. ¿Yes, uh -huh. Ricardo? Eh, Seldor, ¿qué significa? Se me ha olvidado. Angie le va a decir ahorita qué significa Seldor. Angie, ¿qué significa Seldor? Eh, casi nunca. Casi nunca. I saw Thank them you. go to the library. Thank you. Si se fijan, never, es que nunca hacen algo. Una actividad. I never swim. I never swim in the pool because I can't. I never swim. That's an activity that I won't do. Es una actividad que, cuando usted va a usar never, una actividad que nunca hace. Rarely es una actividad que tal vez allá, como decimos en el salvadoreño, una vez allá a las 500. Seldom, casi nunca pasa. 
occasionally. I occasionally go to go to uh, go to the mountain. For example, I sometimes I play football on my yard. I often or frequently spend the weekend with my friends. I normally eat pupusas for breakfast. I usually start my classes at 5 p.m. I always go to sleep at 12, at midnight. Right? That's what we have. Can I continue? Yes. Yes, okay, let's continue. Now we're going to write five questions. Five questions that you can ask a classmate about a regular day at his or her job. And after that, we're going to interview a classmate. So what are we going to do? We're going to make questions that we can ask for the regular day. What could be an example of a question that we can ask to someone? Let's use time phrases. And let's talk about the job. We choose a time, right? And let's think about 9 a.m. 9 a.m., right? What could be a question at 9 a.m.? What do you do? Do you do at, at 9 a.m.? What do you do at 9 a.m., Roxana, in your work? I'm working with the teenagers. Okay, I work with the teenagers, okay? The answer will be, she works with teenagers. With teenagers at 9 a.m. Okay, that's the answer that I need to have in the first one, right? I'm talking to Roxana right now. Then I have another activity. I have here 10.45 a.m. What do you do at 10.45 a.m., uh, Carmen? Carmen, what do you do at 10.45 a.m.? Sorry, I speak without my Well, um, I, 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 I get meetings at 10.45 p.m. She has meetings at 10.45 p.m. Okay. Now, this is what we have, right? Now, remember that I can ask you, what do you do at 10.45 a.m.? Mm, I always have meetings at 10.45 a.m. So we can say she always has meetings at 10.45 a.m. And now I'm using a time phrase here, right? She works with teenagers at 10 a.m. We can say, Roxana works with teenagers at 10 a.m. at 9 a.m. every day. Every day. Right. Todos estos pueden cambiar con base en las actividades que cada uno de ustedes realiza. Is it clear what we're doing right now? Is it clear what we're going to do? Yes. Yes? Okay, very good. Yes. We're going to work. Please take a screenshot for the examples. Estos son ejemplos. Ustedes van a escribir los propios. Right? Van a trabajar en equipos. You're going to ask with your classmates. If I'm working with Mr. Palma, we say, hey, Mr. Palma, what do you do at 12 in your job? What do you do at 12 in your job, Mr. Palma? Uh... Uh -huh. What do you do? 
he work, uh, he work. What do uh, you do? Yeah. Yes, what do you do at 12? Uh, I'm eating my breakfast. You're eating your breakfast at 12 noon? 12 um, p.m.? Uh, 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 um, How do you say almuerzo in English, Mr. Pano? Dinner. Dinner is cena. Breakfast is desayuno. Desayuno. No sé, no puedo. Lunch. 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 Very good. Ahora dígame. What's the answer? I, I have. He lunch. Uh, he lunch. Uh, no. Usted está hablando de usted, no de alguien más. What do you do? I, I I am lunch. I have lunch. I have lunch. Uh huh. I have lunch. At twelve. At twelve p.m. At twelve p.m. Ocupe un minuto time phrase de las que acabamos de ver. Always. Okay. Ocupe la oración. I had lunch. Always. Mire cómo está en la oración anterior. Mira el ejemplo. Uh, I have lunch. Aquí hay un ejemplo con always. Utilízamelo en la misma mm -hmm. posición de la oración. I have always. Always lunch. I put him. Okay, I always, I always have lunch at 12 p.m. Los adverbios de frecuencia, adverbs of frequency, we're going to put the adverbs of frequency between the subject and the verb, okay? I rarely go to the gym. I never eat vegetables. Siempre vamos a poner el sujeto, el adverbio de frecuencia y el verbo. Subject, adverb frequency, and verb. Right? That's what we're going to do. Now, ¿se entiende lo que vamos a hacer? ¿Se entiende la dinámica de la actividad en grupo que van a hacer? Does, is it clear? Yes. 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 Okay, what about the others? Is it clear? Is it clear? Hello? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Let's go then. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're going to work in pairs right now. Maybe in groups of three. Let me see. We have six. Okay. We're going to work like this right now. So let's go ahead and ask questions. Okay. Let's go. Please. Select your groups. Select, 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 select. Select your groups. Let's go. Let us go, let us go, let us go, let us go. Let's go, Abidail. Who wants to start? Hello, is someone there? Daniel, Emerson? Yes. 
and Roxana. What Tell do you me. do at what do you do at I, I am? Uh, I check I usually I check uh, always uh, drink coffee. I always drink coffee. Uh -huh. Yes. Please coffee. 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 Sé que la I parece ser I. La E parece I. Coffee. Coffee. Exactly. Yes. Okay. I will be here listening okay. to you. Lo puedes estar escuchando. Please keep working. Um, I drink coffee always. Always. Um, Jose, ¿y tú en el trabajo? Uh, I, I get up. I, perdón. I always, I get up. I'll, Five, I am. Aloy, always. Cinco, I am. Cinco. Okay. I always, ¿qué, qué, qué dijo? I always, I get up. No se te entiende mucho. Get up. Get up. Uh, w. I. Can. Eat. Time. Eats. Hola. Thames. Eats. No. Uh, I always. I get up. At. 5 I am. Si quieres poner en el chat. Mejor ahí lo vamos a ver. Aquí lo vamos a ver. Eso hagamos. Eh, también Jennifer, si gusta, eh, déjela ahí en el, en el chat para así re, repetirlo y, y lo vamos. Yeah, I always work, work con su papá. What uh attend of um my my quiero ver cómo se dice eso a las tres pm estoy atendiendo a los gerentes ah the manager yes so mm -hmm. she, she attend she always attend she always I well about you, the managers at yes. 3 p.m. Very good. What do you do at 3 p.m., Maria? What? Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. Do you have questions? Um, Eh, tengo una duda, teacher. Uh -huh. este, ¿En la actividad solo vamos, solo vamos a dirigir a nosotros o podemos ocupar las otras personas? Primera, segunda y tercera persona para las preguntas. Ahorita solo entre ustedes. Ah, solo entre, ah, pues solo nosotros, compañeros. Ya nos equivocamos uh, en la primera. She works. Okay. For example, Angie, ustedes van a utilizar sobre she. Sí. Porque solo hay niñas en este grupo. Sí. Ajá, she. Ajá. Sí. sí. No, sí. Diga, no diga eso, otra palabra, porque es una mala palabra. Sí, 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 sí. Bueno. No, entonces. todavía sí. Va, sigamos sí. entonces, compañero. Ok. Um, vamos a ver. What do you do at 10 a.m.? What do you do at 10 a.m.? Mm -hmm. Este, sí. 
here. Um, she sometimes podrías Take report. Yes, I mean, yes. Sí. Um, don't. Check some time, take report at reporting him. Uh-huh. We're going to finish in one minute. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Um, yo tengo la última. Um, sería siempre, what do you do at mm -hmm. 9 p.m.? What do you do at 9 p.m.? La respuesta sería, I always have English class at, at, at night, I, perdón, I, 8 p.m. I always have classes at 8 p.m. Okay. I always have classes. Have cl okay. class okay. Class class. 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 classes. 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 An English class at at 8 p.m. Okay. Okay, let's go. We have one Bye, minute. Teacher. One minute, one minute. Okay. Jesus Christ, it's almost 10 p.m. Unbelievable. Let us see the examples. Let us see the examples that we have created. Let's listen to the classmates. Where are the others? Ahí vienen. Ahí vienen, ya casi vienen llegando. Que me agarro. Había tráfico. Había tráfico. <laughs> hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Tell me the examples that you have, okay? I know that you have created a lot of examples. Every group has created a lot of examples. So I need you to tell me what are the examples you have. I would like to start with Asalia's group. In Asalia's group, there was uh, Asalia, Carmen, and Maria, right? Right, okay. okay. Um, Asalia always receives the daily payments at 4 p.m. Okay, very good. Thank you, Carmen. Tell me another example. Asalia and Maria. Um, no lo copié bien. She had attend to his manager. She attend to his manager? 3, 3, 3 p.m. At 3 p.m. At 3 p.m. Okay. She attends to his manager at 3 p.m. Very good, Asalia. Very good. Uh, Maria. Carmen usually sets report at 10 a.m. At 10 a.m. Very well. Very good. So we have there the examples for this group. Let's listen to. Okay, Pedrina. Okay. Now let's listen to Mr. Palma's group. I always I get up. Okay, one more time. I always I 
I always, I got up, I, I am. Okay. I always get up. Get up. I always, I always get up. Get up. Exactly. Very I, good. I am. At 5 a.m. At 5 a.m. At 5 a.m. At 5 a.m. Yes. At, at 5 a.m. Okay. Read the sentence one more time. Le da su respuesta de nuevo. Completa. I always I get up. No. Está diciendo no. hay dos veces. No. no me puede decir hay dos veces. Porque la oración lleva solo el mismo eh, sujeto. I always get up at 5 a.m. Look at the chat, everyone. Okay. One more time, Mr. Pano. Always, I always get up 5 p.m. Okay, very good. Very good. As you see, very good. Change, change your example. Cámbialo. Okay. Cámbialo. Very good. Let's listen Thank to you. your welcome, Mr. Palma. Who was in your group, Mr. Palma? ¿Quién estaba en su grupo? Eh, Jennifer y Ricardo. Okay, Ricardo, give us one example. And Jennifer, eh, write your example in the chat right now. Um, four. Uh -huh. Eh, eh, PM, no me recuerdo cómo se, cómo se dice, cómo se pronuncia. PM. 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 Eh, I eh, always drink coffee. I always drink coffee at 4 PM. Repeat. At uh, 4 PM. I always no. drink. No. I always drink coffee. At 4 p.m. Uh, I always drink coffee. At 4 p.m. At 4 p.m. Exactly. Very good. At, at 4 p.m. Very good. Primero, uh, vamos, primero vamos a aprender a hacer las, las oraciones básicas. Sujeto, uh -huh. verbo, complemento. Ok, estamos en básico. Uh -huh. Luego ya nos vamos, cuando vayamos a intermedia, nos vamos a ir moviendo y a poner esas time phrases en otros lugares. ¿verdad? Pero primero yes. nos tenemos que conocer lo fundamental. Que creo, abrir... creo, que fue, creo que fue que me confundí en el ejemplo que había dado antes. Como antes había puesto la hora, entonces ahí creo que fue que me confundí. Ah, en la tabla sí. Correcto, en, eso fue lo que Pero en la oración, en el ejemplo de la oración, ya va la hora al final. Al final, siempre. Siempre. Por este momento. Abidail, write your example. Thank you. You're welcome. I, I wife. Stay long at 12 p.m. I? I write some long of 12 p.m. At 12 p.m. Okay, write it on the chat, please, Abidail. And we're going to practice pronunciation. Escribo en el chat. In the meantime, I want to listen to Sandra Gladys group. Sandra, you were with? Um, I have a meeting every Monday at 11 a.m. Okay, I have a meeting every Monday at 11 a.m. That's perfect, Sandra. Very good. Very good. Tell me another example that you have. Who was in your group, Sandra? Gabriela and Luis. Okay. Gabriela and Luis. Tell me examples with she or he, Gabriela and Luis. Luis? Hola. Tell me examples from your, uh, from your group. Yes, yes. Dígame ejemplos de su grupo, por favor. Eh, el, bueno. Eh, era, I have, uh, Ejemplos de sus compañeros. Sí. Eh, era, uno era, me acuerdo que era, eh, que era temprano. 
¿Qué tiene en, la, en, la, en el cuaderno? ¿Vale? ¿Qué tiene en el cuaderno? ¿Qué anotó? No, la compañía no tengo ni idea. <risa> ok. Ok, Luis. Tell me your example then. Dígame su ejemplo entonces. Ese era el I have breakfast at 6 a.m. At 6 a.m. Ok, good. Now, eh, Abigail, look at your example. Is I always have lunch at 12 p.m. Ok, repeat with me. I always, I always have lunch at lunch at 12 p.m. At 12 p.m. Ok, I'm going to write it here. I always have lunch at 12 p.m. Ok, very good. We have this. I always have lunch at 12 p.m. Now, what are we doing here? We're going to put here on the screen the way we write it. We're going to have the subject. We're going to use an adverb of frequency. Subject plus adverb of frequency. Right? Plus verb. Plus complement. Plus at. In the time. Okay. This will be one quick way of remembering what we're going to do. So, using this logic, what could be an example, Sandrita? I. I. Mm -hmm. uh, always. Always. Uh, dinner. Dinner. Is dinner a verb? What? Dinner is a, is dinner a verb? Uh, or room? 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 I always do. Room. Room. Run. Uh -huh. Room. Uh -huh. uh, at... Uh, at... Uh, Five a.m. At five a.m. Very well. I always run at five a.m. That is a perfect sentence. Subject, adverb, frequency, verb, and the time phrase. Okay. I always. We can put more information. I always run in the park. Esto ya es opcional. El complemento siempre es opcional para dar más información para practicar más. I always run in the park at 5 a.m., right? That's going to be one. Now, do we understand this formula? Digamos como una fórmula para escribir las oraciones. Cuando estamos usando un adverb of frequency y en la hora. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Let's continue. Now, Let me share the next activity that we are going to, oops, that we are going to do. We're going to work right now with phrases, but we're going to get introduced to, oh, these colors. Okay, no se miran. Okay, we're going to work with much or many. How much? How many? That's what we're going to practice right now. How much? How much? And we're going to practice how many? Okay. Now, look at this. I'm going to show you some information for you to look at this right now. Can you count the things on the screen? Look at the things on the screen. We have a flower, sand, sugar, grape, water, uh, well, a rhino here. This is a boat. This is water. Can we count the water? No. 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 Very good. 
Can we count the sun? No, we can't. No, we can't, exactly. Can we count the flower? Yes. Yes. Yes, we can. Can we count the sugar? No, we can't. No, we can't. Very good. Let's continue. If we make them um, plurals, look at this. We're going to have flowers, suns, mm -mm. big no-no. Rhinos, yes. Boats, yes. Waters, mm -mm. Waters solo lo van a ver en apellidos en inglés. Eso sí, hay gente que se llama eh, fulanita waters, pero es apellido. No se refiere al agua, right? Grapes, yes. Sugars, no, right? So we there are some words in English that we can count. There are some words in English that we cannot count, right? Hay algunas eh, palabras en inglés que podemos contar, algunos objetos, algunos nombres, y hay algunos que no los podemos contar en inglés. ¿Ok? If you can count it, you can, are going to use many. Right? For example, too many flowers. Look, we can have like a lot of flowers here, right? Many flowers. Oh, too many flowers. If you can count it, use many. I ate in past, right? I ate so many grapes that I felt sick. Comió mucho esta niña. I ate so many grapes that I felt sick. Many grapes. If you can count it, use many. How many bots can you see? How many boats can you see? How many boats can you see? ¿Cuántos botes ven? How many boats can you see? Mm -hmm. I see like... Almost four. Almost four? Four or five? Right? Something like that. Okay, like four or five. Very good. Eight. Eight. I see eight. Es que usted mira, sale. Yo ya no miro. <laughs> eight. Very good. Very good. Let's see. How much sand do you need? If you cannot count it, use much. How much sand do you need? How much water do you drink every day? Right? How much sand do you need for the house? If you can't count it, use much. If you can't count it, use much. There is too much water on the floor. Clean it up. Right? Then it says here, for countable things, use many. For non-countable things, use... Uy, ¿qué le pasa a esta cosa? For countable things, use many. For non-countable things, use much. Okay. Para contables, para objetos contables, usamos many. Para objetos que no se pueden contar, usamos much. Is this part clear? ¿Se entiende lo que estamos haciendo? Yes. Yes? Yes? Okay. Because we're going to practice. We're going to practice. So let's continue. Well, we're going to use, for example, how much is an expression to ask about money, right? For example, how much do they pay? Cuando usted se quiere cambiar de trabajo, vea. How much do they pay? How much do they charge? How much is it? Cuando va a la pupusería y le pregunta a la niña María, how much is it? How much is it, niña María, por las pupusas? How much is it? How much do you earn every month? How much do you earn monthly? Eso lo van a preguntar por su trabajo. How much do you earn month? How much do you earn every month? Right? Now we're going to use how much to ask for the prices. For example, how much is this? This is? 
$2. How much is this? This is $2, right? How much are these bobby clips? These are $1, right? We ask for how much when we ask about money. So let's go ahead and practice this. We have, let me see. Let's practice one or two. We have this practice. It says orange juice, do you want? What, what do I have to use? Much or many? Much. Much, very good. How much orange juice do you want? How much orange juice do you want? Just one glass. Excellent, just one glass, very good. Then we go with cookies. Cookies, what do we use here? Much or many? Many. 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 How many cookies do you eat every day? One. I eat one cookie every day, right? There are two people in the line. Many or much? Much. Mm. Much? Many. Many. Many, because Many. we can count people. Many. For example, in this classroom, right now, in this Zoom classroom, we have 16 people. Many. Right? We use many. Excellent. There are too many people in the line. Oh, salt. Oh. Much. 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 Let's see. Much. Porque no se puede contar. He put so much salt in the soup that it tasted horrible. You. Right? You. Very good. Let's see. <laughs> the teacher gave us two homework. Many. Many homework. Can you count homework? Yes. Hmm? Oh, much. Is much. Much. Very good, much. Natalia. Much. Homework is una palabra no contable. It's a non-countable word. Right? So we say much. Very good. Now, we're going to stop here because tomorrow we're going to practice with how many, how much, right? With other things. We're going to stop here. I'm going to call the attendance and I will switch to Spanish for a moment. Eh, voy a pasar la asistencia y a las 10 nos vamos a ir a la, a, eh, mandaron hoy una información al chat de las personas que tienen la opción de quedarse a la sesión de 10 a 11, pero en un horario específico, ¿ok? Así que revisen el chat mientras yo les paso asistencia. Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Presente. Ángela de Jesús Santa María. Presente, teacher. Azalia Melanie Guardado Portillo. Presente. Carmen Lisette Hernández Escobar. Present. Celia Jazmín Castro de Chévez. Present. Ah, thank you. Daniela Mirta Sandoval Avilés. Present. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Glenda Esmeralda Trigueros Vázquez. José Alfonso Palma Mejía. Juan Josué, Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. <coughs> Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra, Luis Armando Ventura Campos, Present, María Concepción Cerón Jovel, Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega, Present, teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez, Present, teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Beringa Ventura, Roxana Yanira Mejibar Escobar, Present. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher. Jennifer Avidai Lopez Escoto. Present teacher. Okay, very well. Now, in this uh, moment, please check the chat, right? The, the group chat, so you can see who has the options to stay. Uh, if you have a specific questions, right? Uh, you can stay with me at from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m., okay? from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. That's the time we are going to be together uh, for this session. 
Do you have any questions right now? Not teacher, thank you. No questions. Okay, so I will see you guys then at 10 p.m. Lo veo a las 10 de la noche en unos pocos segundos con los que nos toca estar en esa actividad. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.